The light cycle, a game grid staple. A light cycle is a vehicle used by programs in the game grid, closely resembling motorcycles that we see in the real world. When a program reses the light cycle into existence from a rod, the cycle encloses the rider, forcing him into the position to ride the light cycle. The first generation light cycle has a protective canopy, thus housing the rider fully and protecting him more completely. The color of the light cycle is dependent on the color of the rod that generates it. On the game grid, light cycles move at an incredible pace, leaving behind a deadly solid wall of light in their wake. Capable of moving in straight lines and only turning in 90 degree angles, on the game grid the cycle's brakes are disabled, adding to the deadly threat and tension when battling it out. When in teams on the game grid, the light cycle rider can use the communication system installed, allowing the rider to discuss tactics with teammates. However, outside of the game grid, the light cycle does in fact move like any normal motorcycle. The solid light wall that is so deadly upon impact is not present either. A quick and agile vehicle, the light cycle is not robust. A single blast from a light tank will destroy the cycle and potentially lead to a derezzed rider. The light cycle itself originates from an NCOM video game created by Kevin Flynn, the title of which was simply Light Cycles. Being that he was the creator of the light cycle, when Flynn was forced into the game arena he was able to use his unparalleled knowledge of the game to escape the game grid. Things move on though, and in Tron Legacy we are introduced to the 5th generation light cycle, an upgraded model of the light cycle and featuring some differences. The canopy of the first generation was removed, but had added headlights so the rider could navigate through dark environments. The wheels of the 5th generation are identical in size, a feature that sets itself apart from all other editions. Unlike the earlier editions, the light wall it produces can in fact be switched on and off, allowing for tactics and strategies to be played out on the game grid. The speed is somewhat variable in the 5th generation. Pushing the front and rear end apart, slightly exposing the engine, will increase the speed of the vehicle past its initial top level. Steering the 5th generation is done merely by tilting, as the front end is locked in position. This is not without its dangers and an upgrade that introduces fins to greater the aerodynamics was installed in this model. As the 5th generation is more closely modelled on a real world motorcycle, the rider will not automatically derez upon crashing. The cycle will, however, it leaves the rider to sustain the injuries, much like the real world would. Created similarly to the 1st generation, these light cycles are generated from a baton. Splitting the baton in half, after a running leap the light cycle will again form around the rider. So to me, the light cycle is a truly iconic vehicle creation in cinema capturing the imaginations of so many and a fantastic blend of real world and video game. I enjoyed the upgrades in Tron Legacy whilst being faithful to the aesthetic they established in the original. However, I would be keen to know what you guys thought of the first generation and of course the fifth generation light cycles. Did you prefer the original bike or did you appreciate what they did to modernize them in the newer film? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel then please head on over to my Patreon page, the link is in the description box. I've been Mr H and until next time I'll catch you in the comment section.